everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of Superman, Son of Kal-El, number nine. This is the book from DC Comics. Uh, let's take a look at the credits, and then we'll go into the story. Uh, so this book is written by Tom Taylor with art by Bruno Redondo, Bruno Redondo and Wade Grow Badger on inks, Adriana Lucas on colors, and Wes Abbott's by uh, on letters. Uh, with a beautiful cover by Bruno Redondo. As you can see here, this is World's Finest Sons, part two of two. Uh, this is the second part of the Superman Nightwing crossover. In Nightwing 89, we have part one, so if you haven't read that, you should go back and read that. Uh, so Nightwing promised Clark Kent that while he's off planet, Nightwing would look after Clark's son, John, uh, who is currently Superman, as he tries to fill in his father's shoes. Uh, but as someone is out there murdering superpower people, Nightwing is in over his head, uh, so can these two come together to kind of try to find out? Uh, I've been loving the the interconnection between all of Tom Taylor's books, uh, especially because he's working with either the same or similar artists. Like like it's very consistent all over all over the books, uh, and I think uh, Taylor and Redondo just make a great team. Uh, you know, even from the Suicide Squad stuff that they've done in the past. Uh, so speaking of, let's take a look at some of the art. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the story. Uh, so I really love Redondo's setup uh, of like these little touches of the that, that bring motion to to a static medium that is the comics. Um, they're always also very good about letting you know where we are, especially in a story like this where we could either be in Bloodhaven or Metropolis as the, the crossover happens. Uh, so they're very good at putting you in a good location. Now, in the last issue, we, we saw that they decided to team up uh, to figure out what's going on, who's killing these guys. Obviously, the seats have been planted all throughout the all throughout the runs, both Nightwing and, uh, and Superman. Uh, but yeah, I love shots like this. I think Redondo is amazing at doing these big big pages with the angles and i think for for you to be drawing a for anybody that's drawing nightwing you have to understand the fluidity and the motion of the character um he moves very differently than a lot of the other characters uh, another thing another one of the things that i really enjoy is these these repetitive panels that they deliver narration uh but also kind of let you figure out and bring you into what Nightwing is doing. You know, even seeing Nightwing multiple times in the same panel to reflect the motion, uh, the acrobatic style. And as you can see, Nightwing is never in the same pose. Uh, and he's never in like a really, like a very static pose in all, all the time, always very fluid. Uh, I think Redondo is great at capturing that. Uh, so as we learned last issue, at least as the reader, we figure out, who we know that there's these people behind them. I love their designs. They're kind of silly, especially to do with the glasses. Um, but yeah, you can see that this was all kind of like, you know, a plan set up by both uh, Nightwing and Superman to draw these guys out. Uh, and we we find out a little bit more about these guys in the issue, but I won't go into details just to avoid spoilers. Um, but yeah, here we have them enacting the plan. And I even love that John doesn't have to catch Nightwing. Right, he knows. Like this was all part. They planned this whole thing out. Uh, Nightwing knows that he he can stop these guys no problem. I mean, Nightwing knows that John can stop these guys no problem. So, yeah, I love it. I love it. Tom Taylor just he loves having good fun uh, with the characters. I think he really understands the chemistry between what makes a lot of these characters fun. Uh, but he's also setting up an interesting story. Now this issue does slow down a little bit, and I do feel like the. The crossover was a good setup. Um, I don't know how this will be collected. I think that would be that would be probably the more interesting part of it. I would think maybe this would be in the Superman trade. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's the only thing that I would have questions or gripes about if I was a, a collector of uh, not single issues, but uh, the collected editions. Like, how am I going to read this two-part crossover? But I think that's always been an issue in comics. Other than that, Tom Taylor and the team are doing a fantastic job. I love these books. Uh, so, yeah. I, I I can't remember the last time I was subscribed to a Nightwing series before this. And it's been a little while since I was subscribed to the normal Superman series. So, Tom Taylor did it. Uh, so, there you have it. I recommend this book. Go pick it out uh, from the comic shop uh, or wherever you get your comics. Uh, you can read both part one and two of the story. 
Uh, and I love this crossover. So thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, movie reviews, all that good stuff on the channel. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.